हाय फ्रेंड्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल दिस इज अशोक पुनपल वेलकम टू माय चैनल डिजाइन एंड ड्राफ्टिंग इन आर्ट डिस्क इन्वेंटर टुडे वी विल लर्न शीट मेटल डिजाइन विद द हेल्प ऑफ वेरियस शीट मेटल कमांड्स लाइक फेस फ्लैंज कंटू फ्लैंज हेम बेंड फोल्ड कॉर्नर सीम पंच रूल एक्सेट्रा बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विथ दिस कमांड्स वी विल सी वेर वी कैन यूज दिस कमांड टू डिजाइन रियल टाइम प्रोडक्ट्स एग्जाम्पल कंट्रोल पैनल्स कंट्रोलर्स एनक्लोजर्स एंड कवर्स वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ होम अप्लायसेस लॉकर्स एक्सेट्रा Let's start with the phase command first. Before starting with the any command, we will fix thickness of sheet. So go to sheet metal defaults. Untick use thickness from rule. And give customized thickness as one point six mm. Okay. We will start with the two D sketch. Select X Y plane. Select rectangle. Give dimensions. Three hundred. And this four hundred. Enter. Right click. Okay. We will finish this sketch. we will see first face command select face command select profile okay here face command ended with the sheet metal thickness of 1.6 mm then we will see flange command select flange command i plan on the edge of sheet metal give dimension 100 mm apply we have to select sheet metal edges several time for flange command now we will select another edge of sheet metal give dimension 50 mm apply select next edge give dimension 20 mm before applying we will add one more edge by using click to add option go to corner tab select a relief shape to set required shape for corners we will select a round shape set meter gap as 0.1 mm and then apply again select edge give dimension 20 mm and then apply select one more edge give dimension 50 mm and okay now we will see corner seam select corner seam command select first edge select second edge set gap to 0.1 mm go to corner tab select a relief shape as round and apply for next corner select first edge and second edge gap is already set as 0.1 mm select 
corner relief shape this is round in shape tab here are various options for corner shape like symmetric overlap and reverse overlap we will select symmetric gap and apply for aesthetic view we will apply material so you can select any material and apply next we will see control flange select 2d sketch select face where you want to apply this command I have selected this face select line and draw a sketch which you require give dimension to sketch right click ok and finish this sketch select control flange command select profile select all edges on which you want to apply control flange now select corner seam select edges and apply on it now we are going to see offset flange command select flange command select edge here you can select option for a particular length of flange you can see width extent types as edge width offset and from to we will select offset in this option you can set offset distance of flange between two edges set distance as 20 mm and 25 mm respectively ok here you can see that it is offset from both edges now we will see fold command For full command, we will draw a one line on surface. Select to the sketch. Select face. Draw line. It is then bend line. I am keeping this line inclined. Right click OK and finish the sketch select fold command select this line and ok fold is completed with a customizable bend line now we will see bend command select plane it will be offset from this face by 25 mm draw a rectangle sketch draw sketch on this plane as rectangle give dimension to rectangle 
टू फिफ्टी एम एम एंड फोर्टी एम एम मेक दिस रेक्टेंगल कोलिनियर विद दिस एज राइट क्लिक ओके एंड फिनिश दिस स्केच सिलेक्ट फेस कमांड एंड ओके नाउ सिलेक्ट बेंड कमांड सिलेक्ट फर्स्ट एज सिलेक्ट सेकंड एज एंड देन ओके Here bend is created. We will see hem command. Hem is nothing but given curl shape to sharp edges. Select edge. Here various types of hem are available. we will continue with the type single okay hem is created at edge we will see last command that is punch tool create center point to apply punch command go to tool sketch select face add points on face give dimensions finish this sketch select punch tool command here various options are available for punch or you can add customizer punch also for now we will continue with the slot punch select and open go to geometry select face and finish here shape is created on face as per selected punch select a rectangle pattern select this punch as feature give dimensions and quantity okay select mirror command select mirror solid select mirror plane select face and okay with this command our sheet metal part is ready you can try all this sheet metal commands with the help of this video thank you for watching this video If you find this video useful then please like share and subscribe and don't miss to hit the bell icon to get the notification for new uploaded videos thank you bye